Oh my god! <laughs> fucking fire, fucking fire, 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 fire everywhere. There's so much fire, I can't see anything, I can't do anything. Oh, there's so much fire. Am I fighting the Belmont or am I fighting the devil? Dark greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining me once again by the fireplace. Allow Papa Grimbold to pull out a book as we chronicle our next chapter of adventures in Vardaran. And I learned that recently. The world is called Vardaran. Shall we begin? As is custom, I've done a little bit of remodeling. So I've changed up the study. The door used to be here. But then with the way I designed the room and expanded it to fit the Anathium, I sort of made it this, this sort of like staggered structure and I put the main entrance into the tailoring room which I also made bigger because it was a bit too cramped and I was looking at the rewards that we're going to get especially from Terra Claw and the advanced tannery that looks like it's going to be a big piece of machinery so I thought it just makes sense to do a bit of expansions a bit of a uh, you know open up a few areas so the entrance now to the study slash tailoring area is going to be through the tailoring area and this will be an enclosed space it's a little bit tightly squeezed but i think this is pretty much everything that will come for this for the library setting so i'm i'm happy with it i like this room the lighting's good the ambience is good i like it it's great and then because i've expanded the room outside i, I was considering expanding here and making all of this sort of closed off but it just it wouldn't feel right it looks better with two walkways so now we've created a a side bit on this walkway here for a bit more shade i don't know if i want to replicate that on this side i kind of like the look of it right now but who knows i do i was kind of considering changing this structure here because right now it's floating in the middle of nowhere Magically, it makes sense. Logically, it doesn't. Structurally, it should not even be a question. It's not even in the discussion. So I was thinking maybe add a staircase here or something like that. Maybe sort of one going up like that. Or one going up like that. And then sort of breaking this whole thing down and building it up on top here. It's a thought. For now, it's a thought. I do like the structure of this room and it will kind of be a bit annoying to break it all down and recreate it, but I feel like it'd make more sense. But I do like this sort of walkway aspect, so maybe what I'll do is sort of build upon this and create more walkways to connect back to the main castle. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with castle building, just not having fun with the, the execution part. So, you know, kind of in two heads about it, two ways. But the moon is up and that gives us a perfect excuse to tackle one of these challenging beasts as well as gather some new stuff for the anathium because we don't have a lot of things to be able to power ourselves up we have pretty much everything that we could have at the moment but we just we just don't have the means we don't have the research we don't have the knowledge to be able to create new armor or to create new weaponry so that's that's kind of the main thing we need to do right now so terror claw the ogre if i am not misinformed and my memory is still as sharp as it used to be in my younger years terror claw is either here or it's there it's there i think i think it's here so we're going to we're going to take a a little sojourn to the hallowed mountains i think this is the last time we will actually be in the mountains yeah terrible the yoga is nearby so i was i was right as per usual i'm never wrong still waiting for the day when i am wrong i've, I've taken the wrong path <laughs> that's embarrassing <laughs> okay a little bit lag straight off the bat that's that's industry standard now for me just to lag out 
We have our healing from our dash. That's going to be magnificent. Right, he's going to do that. I, Okay, I happen to be in it. That sucks. Are you going to throw? You're going to throw. Just out of range. That's okay. We're going to hit you with the ignite. Come back and heal. Dodge out the way just in time. Okay, he's going to throw. We, we shmoove, we shmoove with poise. Fuck, I missed that, I missed that. Uh, what's this? Okay, nice. We use the cover. Turn around there. Move out. Remember, the most powerful ability is not dodging. It's simply sidestepping. Fuck. That's good. That's good. Out of the way. That's not good. Yeah, I didn't have my dash. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't have my dash. Okay. Um. All in all, I will say... That wasn't too bad. I do think that this having no jewel might have been the downfall. And maybe I should get at least one um, shield ability. I think a shield ability will, will do me justice here. So let's take that. And then I think the horde was kind of useless. So let's take this as a panic button. And I think that's a really good lineup. Okay. 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 Maybe, maybe the plan is go back to the coffin. Go back to the homestead. Get some blood. Because we need blood. A pleasing slumber. Let's go get some blood and we'll be fine from here on out. Now we're here. Let's pop this. On delicious blood. Look at all our bonuses. That's amazing. We have life leech as well. That will be helpful. Let's just circle around here. Just sh 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 sneaky sneaks. Get our stuff. Now we look fabulous again. And it's time to time to boogie. Dodge out of the way. Dodge through. Back step. Send the wolf out. Keep smacking, keep smacking. Get the tip action. Get the tip. Get the tip. Dodge through. Get the tip. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. God, this is actually terrible. Okay. Really, really bad. Really bad, really bad, really bad. Hold on. Okay. Reset. None of this was working out well. None of that was working out well. What we need is we need this. That's what we need. That's going to help a lot. What the fuck? This cannot be the end. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's tough. He's tough. He's really tough. Why is he so tough, man? Why is he so difficult? How do I... How am I going to navigate this? I went to the wrong way gate. Got it. 
Oh, I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of panicked a bit at the end there, where I was gonna press both my um, blood right and my space. So I was gonna use up both of my, I was gonna use up both of my uh, escapes at that one point. I was kind of, I kind of thought I was fucked. I kind of got greedy, and then he stunned me, and I was like, oh shit, this might not work out well. Um, <laughs> thank Jeebus that it did work out well. But yeah, that's that was that was tough. That was definitely I could feel that as a step up. The blood helped so much. Um, having that extra counter, oh, that helped so much. Death Knight, my my beloved Death Knight. I'll never forsake him again. Yeah, gosh, that that was that was exhilarating. I feel it. I feel the adrenaline spike of a, of a tough situation. Of you know. You're not sure if you're gonna do it, and then you do it, and then you're like, "I did it." <laughs> the dopamine is flooding through my mind, and and you feel good about yourself, and then it wears off, and you're like, "Shit, I have to do this again." So we'll make we'll make as many of these as we can. I am missing key ingredients. That's fine with me. Pop those back. Those will be going, and then we, in the meantime, shall go get some grapes. We shall go do other things, or maybe. Let's see who this one is. Voltatia. The power master. Okay. Maybe we'll go for her. We we can we can try and go for her. While we still have 100 percent blood. Because we need the power core for these. That will help us get our, our health up. Well not health, but get our, our status up. And we'll be able to do more more madness. So let's just quickly have a look at the requirements for the fine tannery one out of eight and then 12 pristine leather how much leather do we have we have five don't have much leather actually i checked the wrong thing we have all the leather we have all the leather possible so we'll demolish this let's go get the planks because i know we have planks we we definitely should have them in this chest, I believe. Yep, nine, just about. Because I know I I've been making some more. I didn't realize that we need them now. <laughs> that's that's the okay. That's the weird thing about the way this game works. So the items that you unlock aren't really useful until a lot later. So when you first get them, you say to yourself, "Well, you know." I don't really need this. I'm still working with copper. I'm still working with uh, yarn. I'm working with all this stuff. And then later on, when you get to act three, then you're like, oh shit, I need, you know, I need some stuff here. It's just a little bit jarring because you kind of set yourself up in the end to be out of pocket. There we go. So now we have our advanced tannery. So we can drop that in there, drop that in there. Um, we'll just drop that in there too. We'll drop it in there. So that's 250 bonus. Okay, dope. So that's all, that's all sitting pretty. We have our nice hat on. Makes us look bold again. Some demon forces have taken away my my righteous, my justified, my my glorious hair. Um, but I think yeah. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this, as if I'm not kind of absolutely spazzing through the menus enough. So I'm guessing it's here. Oh wait, no. Potentially. I think I think if we start there, we might be able to find a place. Oh, this looks quite cool for like a castle place. But I think if we start there, we should have a good a good setting point to to navigate through to find her. I like that little I like that little jump. I like that a lot. Am I holding a thing? Oh, I'm holding my whip. That's right. Okay, maybe it's up here then. Maybe that's where it's taking me. Maybe. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. 
but we'll take a nice little trip through the tran Transcendium. Good evening, fellows. Good evening, my fellows. Good morning, my neighbors. This is all pretty cool, though. Oh, this is actually freaking gangster. I like this. It's a real, real Frankenstein type vibe. Oh, apart from the lightning everywhere. Oh, another way gate. Perfect. Just gonna jump through, fellas. Don't mind me. Just making my way through town. Okay, yeah, it's it's here. It's the Transcendium Power Plant. Hello. I've come to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Grimbold. He will come to deliver you from your hair. God, she looks cool. He, he, she. Hold on, let's get her, let's get her. He, he looks cool. That's freaking dope. They should have cosmetics from bosses like in Dark Souls. That would be so cool. Trespassers will be treated with extreme pressure. Woman. It is, it is woman. It is man. Okay, we're gonna circle back. We're gonna dash out. She teleports. That doesn't count. Okay, that doesn't count as a counterable ability. Okay, so she has like a burst shotgun thing. Oh, she's still fighting. Perfect, that's counterable. No security. We don't need security. We don't need it. Security to me. We don't need security. She just clone. Okay, okay, okay. Um, kind of, kind of getting schmeckled right here. Grab that. Keep an eye out, keep an eye out. There we go. Hit that. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Try not to be too Strafe out, strafe out, strafe out. Tight, tight, tight. Guard, get over here. My legs. Move. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like a god right now. Okay, I kind of feel. New knowledge acquired. I kind of feel like a god right now. I can't lie to you. Oh god, I, I feel, I feel, it's, uh, sometimes it's hard man, sometimes I wonder, I just, I just wonder how I became such an absolute weapon. Now that was actually a fun boss fight, I can't lie, that was fun. It was just on the edge of like, what the fuck am I doing? Right there next to, holy crap, I'm actually doing it. <laughs> I love the arena too, the arenas are getting so nice. Oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. And I can even go to my horse. Oh, that's that's freaking cool. I think this is a good time. And in my expert opinion, I think I've decided that I need to get the hell out of Dodge. 
fuck. The, the Gatling, the Gatling, the Gatling, the Gatling, the Gatling. Uh, Wolf. Wolf. Go back to default. Default. Wolf. Escape to Gloomrot South. Escape. Escape the border. <laughs> Get to the border. They say take the batteries and they say put lightning. How do I do that? Do I stand in lightning? Or maybe... Okay, let's try stand in lightning. That, that... Just saying that puts me on a bit of an edge. Let's just stand in it. And then if not, maybe we drop... Oh, come on. I missed all three. So maybe we drop it into the lightning? Hello? Did that charge anything? No, it didn't. Why didn't it charge? How do I... Hmm. No, if I drop it, it becomes an item. It doesn't become like a physical thing. Charged with lightning. Charged with lightning. Charged with lightning. It's big brain time. It is definitely big brain time. That didn't do anything. That was silly. Fuck. Fuck. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. What what is this? What 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 is what what's the What's the procedure here? Look at this. What what is this? What's what is all of that? That's just My blood reserves. What's going on? Zeus! Okay, okay. See. I wouldn't mind dying. But I don't like dying when I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. Every death should be an opportunity to learn something new. And right now, I know nothing. Oh, oh shit. I made 10 batteries. Okay. So we can just, we can just head straight back. We can, we can go make ourselves a, um, an amulet. Okay, great. Did not think that was how it worked. I thought it was 10 batteries for one charged one. But then, okay, if I think about that though, that doesn't make any sense. Why would 10 depleted batteries just go out of the window just to make one charged one? Yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right. Um, not my best shining moment, but we have them now. We have the batteries. I'm not sure if we were meant to get 10. I think they said that the longer you stand there, the more likely you are to get zapped. I didn't get zapped. Maybe I was lucky, but... I'll take my blessings where I obtain them. That's it. We got we got our power batteries. Now all we need is um to decide actually. We just need to decide what amulet we want to make. Okay, we need nine power cores. We need more batteries. <laughs> um Okay, but let's see what one to make anyway. Lesser storm shield, skeleton warrior. Lesser Blood Rage. Ooh. I feel like that one might be good. That might be good. Ah, okay. So they also have other benefits as well. Weapon attack speed. Strike chance. What Life Leech. I feel like Life Leech might be the way to go with this. And if we can get Lesser Blood Rage, that also adds, you know, movement speed and a bit of damage. So that just seems like a lot more bang for your buck compared to the others. If I'm understanding that correctly, it just seems like a lot more buffs for very minimal reward. So we just need a bunch more radium alloy. We need six more radium alloy. No, we're going to need more than that. We're going to need at least two more sets of ingredients. So we need to go get more batteries and more radium alloy, which should be cooking. 
There's 12 already. That's that's plenty. Only thing we need now is the batteries. And the batteries, we're just going to quickly go grab then. I say quickly, but we all know it's going to take a while. And maybe if it's still going to take a while, then I'll just grab the grapes while I'm out as well. And then we'll use the power of editing, the magic of um, skipping time, time traveling. We're all chronomancer. I'm a chronomancer. So I'll use my, my special powers and we will find a way to just, you know, navigate through all of that. It's a tough line to walk with this game. On one part, you want to make sure it's entertaining and you've edited it nicely. On the other part, it'd be easier just to put Twitch, just to put this on Twitch and just stream the damn thing. It'd be so much easier just to do that. You can't, you actually can't enter a menu in this place. You can't. Entering a menu in this place is a death sentence. You have to know exactly where you're going. You have to. <laughs> yeah, the minute you press M, or you press Tab, or you press V, or you press K, is V even a menu? V is not a menu. But anytime you press one of the assorted keys to enter a menu, every single lightning strike in the vicinity decides it's your turn. It's just, it's your turn. I do like that aspect of everything having emotion when it's being used. That's kind of, I think that's so cool. It's a little thing, but it's so cool. It really adds to the immersion of this magical castle that does function. It's a sign as well of just progression. I love it. It's just a sign of, uh, of saying... You know, this castle's coming to life now. Things are happening. So we want the rubies. And we're gonna craft this. Lesser blood rage. Can only trigger once every 10 seconds. Frozen weapons. Skulls and warrior lessers. I think this is just the best bang for buck. Okay, so that'll take two minutes. Two minutes is enough time for me to decide I don't want to do that anymore and change my mind and... And cry and weep and, and shuck and jive and I don't know. Ah, woog. Whoa, they're strong. Why am I so weak? Oh, fudge sticks. That's right. I don't have my, my amulet. <laughs> that was close. Oh, gosh. That's that's uh, sanguine regeneration. My blood. I, I, just, I completely brain fired. I forgot they take the previous amulet. I've lost 20 levels. This is basically a high level area for me now. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Don't even look back. Just keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Behave yourselves. You wish to challenge me? I went the wrong way. Now, if I do recall, this is the way we want to go. Hello. 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 Oh, shit. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. It wasn't the smartest idea to come just blitzing in. I, I do admit that now. I do admit that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide in the back alleys. And we're going to transform into... Woman. Oh no, good heavens, what happened? Oh no! It was a scary vampire! I was so frightened! <laughs> oh man, I'm... I'm I, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay, 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 okay. So... None of this has fucking worked. <laughs> None of this has gone the way it was supposed to. And I'm now on a time limit. Because now I'm about to pop this. Very stupid, but I've done it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna divide and conquer really. That's all we can do. Just divide and conquer. I'm gonna just take them out. Right, finally, now I can eat you. Right, you're mine. This is all done. Now we'll heal. Sanguine 
regeneration. Right, let's just heal. Blood sustains me. Okay, I feel like we're going to need a shield ability now. We are going to need a shield ability. So, what we're going what we're going to do is um Okay. Let's do let's do that. And then we'll do oh, See, it's so hard to not crutch on on death knight because it just helps so much but i think we'll stay with the wolf let's let's take a little let's take a little rummage at the catacombs nice oh 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 that might be a game changer that might actually be a game changer are you sure no you're at a disadvantage you can still That's right, he's the bullet hell boss. Okay, we're dodging, we're dodging, we're dodging. You can still surrender. Witness the power of faith. We're dodging, we're dodging, we're dodging. Nice. Nice, I didn't mean to do that. Perhaps this is necessary. Back. Witness the power of faith. Oh, he can be feared. That's useful to know. Nice. Okay, that was actually super easy. I have friends. I was expecting that to be exceptionally hard. Taste of knowledge. I think I think that mosquito changed the game. That mosquito changed the game. That was such a freaking that was such a clutch thing to get. That was amazing. Veil of Blood, you know, more stuff for Veil of Blood. Um, nah, it's not that good. I can take it to break it down, but it's not that good. That was insane. I did not think it would take, it would be that quick. Oh, uh, it looks like someone's mowing the lawn. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. If there's any background noise, I apologize in advance. I'm not a professional. I'm just a man doing doing a hobby. <laughs> okay. What did we get off him? We got a chaos point. But this man this man was fully using his own flock as bait. <laughs> he's he's oh gosh. Okay, so that's that's that done. Now do we do Simon Belmont? I kind of want to. I want to do Simon Belmont. Uh, do I have coins? I do have coins. Let's pop them in the coin coin storage. 60 Solaris coins. Might have to take that somewhere. See what we can do with them. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that. Let's 
it's kind of ass. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of. That, that's kind of, it's kind of bad. Um. I mean, the rolls are good, actually, except for that last one. That last one was the lower bound. That actually might not be too bad if I use it with my Death Knight. I mean, it's a tier 4 gem, so, you know, who am I to complain? That's, that's freaking... We can, I mean, we can use it for now. I, I had a shield ability when, to be honest, I didn't really need to. The projectiles were perfectly spaced out. And I was centered enough that I wasn't going to get swept up by the by the other turrets because they activate when you get a certain distance to them and then the whole place just becomes like a bullet hell game you're just dodging between projectiles everywhere and then when you pressure him too much he just switches out with somebody else combined with the the helpers that he summons as well it can be a very very sort of difficult fight to navigate but honestly did not feel that i did not feel that that was quite the breeze There he is. This is going to be cathartic. Mr. Belmont. The Belmont name. I will vanquish you. Holy crap. No monster can escape a Belmont's justice. He doesn't have a level. Of a Holy crap. Trembles under a go, 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 go. Have at you. I've got you in my clutches, monster. You can't escape justice. Why do all these vampire hunters jump? They could just leap. What kind of drugs are they on? Shit. Chase down the darkness. By the name Belmont, embrace the flames, foul creature. Okay, there's the fire. There's the fire I've come to know. Music's hitting. The music's hitting. No escape from judgment. The darkness. Oh, I was just out. Is not the end. I was just out the side of the range. Oh no, he's level 80. Oh, that's doable. That's doable. My blades are guided by purpose. Damn it. Damn it! It's the fire. There's just way too much fire. They drop pools of fire everywhere. Really annoying part of the vampire hunters. They just make everywhere like a very big AoE thing. Like Tristan does it, Jade does it. It's just a little bit annoying, but I get it. It's their shtick. It's, it's you know, they use the most effective means to kill a vampire. They're not meant to be, you know, a long drawn out fight. It's basically you're a scourge on the planet and they're supposed to kill you. Makes sense. Just wish it was a little less annoying. My whip is a torch that lights the path to your demise. There we go. Face me, monster. My 
Scheiße. Uh, I'm getting stupid, I'm getting stupid. Oh my god! <laughs> fucking fire, fucking fire, 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 fire everywhere. There's so much fire, I can't see anything, I can't do anything. Oh, there's so much fire. Am I fighting the Belmont or am I fighting the devil? Oh man, this is annoying. This is really annoying. If that, that fire just lasted so long, if I could have just grabbed the health orb or two, I could have at least held on for a little bit longer, but just fire everywhere. And it wouldn't go away. What's the what's the timing on that? Blood moon, blood moon, blood moon. Man, I am rapid. Oh, this is a nice place to fight no as well. monster shall escape my justice. My resolve is unshakable. The wrath of the vampire killer. My dagger strike true. Witness a hunter's technique. Back to the shadows, creature of the night. Ooh, that's a freaking nice. Who dies today? What the fuck? True. That boomerang is a menace. That crossblade is a freaking menace. The Belmont's wrath is unstoppable. What the hell? He's doing a thing. Oh, he's healing. Fuck. Behold the might of the Belmont bloodline. This whip captures the wicked. I got him, 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 I got him. Just before the second one almost killed me. I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. I did it, sacred tears, sacred tears, I did it, I did it. The Belmont is no more. I have defeated the Belmont. I'll have a seat. The Belmont is no more. Oh. That was cool. That was actually great. That was that was that was fun. Ooh, Lord Styx. Nice. We did we, we, we beat the, the thing. We beat him. It's him. Simon Belmont. One of the Belmonts of all time. The most jacked Belmont out of the entire Belmont line. I don't think Richter was as jacked as Simon. I don't think Trevor was. Um, Jude. I think Jude Belmont exists. Jude was Richter's uncle, right? Can't remember. At least in the, in the series he is, I think. I'm trying to remember all these things. Who was the first Belmont? I think it was Leon, right? Leon Belmont? The one who started it with um with uh, the other lad, Mount Ma M something. Ma he became Dracula because he took the um the ebony stone and the crimson stone. He collected them and used death to trap the soul of Walter. I think it was Walter in the crimson stone and then he used the ebony stone to turn himself undead. But he, he basically has like an elder vampire soul within him, which is why he became Dracula. And then he eventually became stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, and then I think Leon Belmont said, uh, 
all because his wife died. So his wife dies. And so this guy swears, you know, he swears that I'm going to take revenge on God. Makes himself an undead creature. And I think he falls in love again. Same story. Maybe the Belmonts are right. Maybe Dracula is a bit unhinged. I don't know. I like the series though. Castlevania, the series was great. It was fantastic. The games are great. Um, si this all started because we were just talking about how jacked Simon is. Um, there was the reboot as well, Lords of Shadow. That wasn't bad. You know, uh, people do have a little bit of a, a stigma for Lords of Shadow because it's not, you know, the traditional way. They just revamped the whole thing. But I kind of liked it. I thought it wasn't too bad. Yes, you know, the gameplay was a bit more linear. It was a bit more hack and slash, a bit more modernized. I was into it. As long as my laptop could run it, I was into it. And I didn't need to use a trackpad with the first Lord of Shadows game because the camera was static. That helped a lot. That was very appreciated. Um, Lords of Shadow 2 was great. Good voice acting too. Robert Carlyle, I think his name is. He did a fantastic job as Gabriel Belmont and then Dracula. Um, the actor for Lucius Malfoy played Lucifer. And he also plays um, the guy in Baldur's Gate 3. Speaking of Baldur's Gate 3, I'm going to play that again. I'm going to install all 140 gigs, fully well knowing I don't have 140 gigs to spare. But we're going to do it. And with that being said, before I, dran before I just ramble on again, um, going back to my roots as a professional rambler, a lot of stuff done. A lot of monumental stuff done. We're actually sort of coming into the the later, the latter half of the game now. We're we're finishing it off in the next few episodes if we continue at this pace. I'm enjoying this game. I can't wait to replay it on brutal. Get all the achievements, 100% it. Be the very best vampire, one of the vampires of all time. Where little fledgling vampires will look at me and say, "Look, that's him. It's him. It's it's grim bald." That one vampire who has done everything that there is possibly available to do under the black moon of the night. He has done it. He has achieved everything and he did it because he wanted to take revenge against God for making him bold.